All right, welcome back. Welcome. We're at it again. Stranded Alien Dawn. As we see, the temperatures dropped. Snow fell in the last episode. We have a couple things we need to get taken care of. Hopefully, we can get it done throughout the winter. Get these other furnaces up and running. Get some bricks rolling. And we can finish our structure off. We've got a long ways to go, though. We need 1,200. Uh, once we get that finished off, we can start maybe adding some fencing. At least get a layer of protection. I believe we did do... Yes, we did. We did do watchtowers. Has a little bit of defense for our survivors. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. But it will certainly help. So, we'll get it rolling. I apologize for the dogs in the background. They are not happy about something. But, that's not our problem right now. Right now we're focused on hope. So, we're going to end up getting Connor rolling here. Hopefully Hope continues to crank out some of these clothing items. We're going to keep an eye. We do have clothes for the survivors. We have some winter clothes. Not much. Enough to... Hopefully make them happy. But we'll see. We are cold indoors. It's very cold indoors. So what we might end up doing is adding not a fireplace because we do not have the space for it right now. Unless we throw it in here. Or we could just plop down one of these bad boys. It's probably not a bad idea. We'll just throw one right there. So focus Connor on getting these done. Getting this bad boy done. Get this running. We'll heat the indoors up a little bit. We know we have old equipment. We know research not being queued. We're aware of the rotted food. Scavenging will continue. Not really sure where Connor ran off to. Okay, he's getting some sticks. Pick up sticks. Connor, Mr. Pick up sticks. with his purple people eater outfit. Go ahead, drop it off. Finish doing what you're doing. that'll take some of the chill off indoors As you can see we're up to five Celsius in here which is good bedrooms nice and toasty for this time of year at a whopping eight and Connor's up here continuing to work on the big house One of the nice things we could do while we're constructing, I believe I had shown this a few episodes back, is we can actually kind of pre-lay out some of this stuff. And I think we were going with four by three rooms, so we'll go ahead and get them squared away. So the nice thing is, as time goes on and our survivors become acquainted with each other they won't have problems if they're staying in the same room we really don't have a problem now but the thing that we get is so you'll watch when Emlyn when she goes into the sleeping area here 
she's going to disturb the other two. And that gives them a, an unhappiness bonus. So once we get this new place, we can try to alleviate that. Everybody can have their own little room. <clears throat> oh, they weren't disturbed. Okay, did that change? Did I miss something? Well, I do know in previous versions, if they all slept in the same room, disturbed sleep was a thing. But it doesn't look like they're getting affected by that anymore, so I wonder if they changed that. But Melody got up early. Again, we're going outside to pick berries. But we don't have berries anymore, so disregard that. Okay, we got some more veggie leggings. Probably go ahead and throw them on Emlyn. So we got a second purple people eater. And now she has a pneumonia, but thankfully we produced early on a good amount of antibiotics. We should be able to deal with that. We have our bread. Connor, if you could. Once you get taken care of there, I'd like to get you out here to finish these up, big guy. Construct them for us, knock them out. More bricks, the better. Make sure all these are doing what they're supposed to do. Now looks like they are so outstanding. We'll continue to work away. We made a good dent there. Hope has an opportunity. Okay, expertise. I've been exploring the space web recently, having accumulated a sufficient number of free subroutines to construct an in-depth database focused on a particular skill. This database will enable me to execute tasks two, three, or even five times faster than experienced humans. What kind of database do you suggest I delve into? Hmm. Uh, um, crafting would be good, but we could also turn her into a cook, which would be good because she can cook while the survivors are asleep. Crafting requires more time. If she's able to execute it faster, I think we go down. We go down that route. I like that better for her. Let's go ahead. We'll cut some of those. Mark them up. And since we were planning on this, let's go ahead and... Ooh, synthetic armor. Looks a little more chonky. Carbon? We could go down the carbon route since we are accumulating some carbon. Not as fast as one would like, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and do this. We will go with... Uh, Alright, we're going to do the deconstruction. When that's done, I think we'll go down the improved solar cells so we can prep for that. <clears throat> Carbon crossbows do sound good, but we do accumulate them off of our guys. And let's go ahead and queue that up. So we have some big research going on. And why not just add one more in there while we're at it for... Good measure. Yeah, 
think that'll be good for us for now. And now the snow's really coming down. Look at that. <laughs> Guys are going to be cold. Gonna be cold. But right about that point, guys, where I take a minute to talk to y'all. Hope you all have a great day today. Hope uh, you're not getting beat up too badly in the world. You know, it happens to everybody. But if you guys don't mind, we keep this keep this running. Go ahead and hit that like button. Pop that subscribe button in there. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me out. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. I don't even care if you just tell me how your day's going, or if you've got something going on and you wanna you wanna talk about it. Let's talk about it. I, I don't care. I'm open for anything. We're we're here to we're here to grow and help each other out. So feel free, feel free. Got some got some stuff coming up. Uh, I think we're gonna get prepped for some other games. But uh, I also want you guys to let me know. What games you'd like to see? Uh, I'll probably generate a community post with a list of games and whatever everybody's interested in. I, I may venture down that. I got some some stuff in the library that I wouldn't mind visiting. Similar stuff to this. We have city builders. We've got some RTS games. We've got some first-person shooters we could play. We got all sorts of stuff. Uh, but yeah, just uh, let me know. Let me know. I appreciate everybody for sticking around and being here. Yeah, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. We got a lot of snowmans. My gosh, you guys got really bored. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or is this the one from earlier that's still hanging on? Either way. Seven? All right. We're just a snowman making machines. Hope still chugging away. Good for you. Intellect level four for hope. Oh wait, she gained some sentience. Is that? Did we see that? We did. Hope sentience progress is directly linked to her intellect skill development. As we read earlier, she is moving upwards. Moving upwards. Very good. Emlyn, what's your problem? You dying over here? Uh, pneumonia. The pneumonias. Connor's still sick too. Hope researching away. Very good. Let's get that rolling. We could finish knocking out some of these chunks of spaceship. We're going to postpone the exploration until this season ends or after the next attack. Then we should have some downtime. We can afford to send a survivor out. We do have coffee. Look at us go. Hope is incapable of cooking. I wonder if that changes if we pick that previously instead of the crafting. I wonder if that would put her down that path. She may learn it as we go on. I'm not really 100% sure. But we're making a decent dent in the bricks. We're about halfway to where we need to be for this first series. For this first building. Uh, I think since it is the winter time, we could probably afford to go ahead and stretch out our wall. I'm okay, we'll bounce that out 18 tiles and we'll kick it out this way. It's going to be a large compound, so we'll see what happens. 40 tiles that way. We're going to try to sustain everything within these walls, including our farms. We'll try to set up some defenses. So it's just going to be kind of an elaborate building. We're going to have probably a massive power facility to control everything. That's the hopes. The hopes and dreams. And 
and in our housing portion here, let's go ahead and I didn't do planks, we did wood. Let's go ahead and finish these up. We'll just run it down that way, yeah. I think what we might do as well, since it's large enough. I don't typically like to place rooms on the exterior walls in case there's a breach, but in this instance, I think we have enough space where I really don't mind. Yeah, definitely don't mind. And kind of pre-planning as we go, we got the rooms for at least four survivors. We could turn this into maybe a recreational slash comfort area and we will start maybe a secondary extension off of up here we'll leave this kind of open and create a secondary extension that runs sort of long turn that into a kitchen area potentially we could stretch one down maybe like a u-shaped building uh, or maybe we'll go upwards we can go up but i think when we go up we're going to have to move our bedrooms upstairs to be more zone efficient but. all right social skill acquired initialization of tertiary cognitive matrices complete loading new human behavioral patterns complete greetings i've been analyzing human behavior for some time now and i believe i'm prepared to apply my skills i'm eager to engage in casual conversations and exchange of verbal information and perhaps even explore the concept of falling in love I mean, we are stranded on a planet, but desperate times, desperate measures? I don't know. If it's feasible for my semi-sentient mechanic of entity like myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, we're going to kick this time up here until something drastic happens. Unless we need to micromanage, we'll let them kind of fly through this. Just keep double checking on everybody, making sure they're good, making sure our stocks are good. Here goes them dogs again. I'm going to mute this till they settle down. Settled them down real quick. A uh, delivery man was here. That's why they were barking so much. That's what we do. We keep it authentic around here. That's what we do. All right. So we're still crushing away. Melody decided to hop in there. Which is fine. Hope's handling the bricks. So that's okay. It is what it is. Tell you, sometimes these guys really throw me for a loop. Just we're researching away, and then randomly we're just going to go squeeze out some oil. I, hey, 
gotta keep it uh <laughs> gotta keep it changed up I guess but as you can see our indoor furnace here has in that top left there you'll see really increase the temperature in here and not on this back side as much but even the bedrooms as compared to the outside we've we've gone up which is good so we don't have to worry about our guys and gals freezing and this is getting to be a little full so we'll go ahead and knock that out knock that out break that down break that down so we could free up a few slots I know we have a decent amount of stuff to be made still so we'll cross that bridge here when we get to it I'm glad Connor's not being a super crybaby. I'd rather him gorge himself with food. Hope on her way to make some more fuel so she can have a snack, I guess. All right, so Connor has some brain parasites. For some time now, I've been experiencing slight muscle tremors, headaches, confusions, and decreased attention span. I ruled out all other treatable causes but brain parasites. I could mix and inject a poison to try and kill the parasites, but there's a slight chance of me getting permanent brain damage. Requires five medicine. Well, Emlyn, I'm sorry, Melody, is a good healer so I mean this requires five medicines so what do we have for medicines just the antibiotics is that what we're gonna do I don't know do it have fun what'd you do Connor what did you do okay so we need to make our own first aid kits it looks like or is that just the icon for the medicines I think it's just the icon so We'll hope that's the case. <laughs> we'll find out. Hopefully Connor doesn't, you know, croak on us. We we still need we still need him. We still need him. It'll be a sad day if we lose him. We'll we'll have to find a way to make do, but it'll it'll be difficult. Well, she's coming over to take care of him, so that should be a good thing. Looks like she, she solved the problem. I don't see any uh, brain parasites in there. Yeah, so maybe maybe that fixed it. I don't know. I'm going to just assume it did. Just assume it did. We're really racking up the Galacticoins. Space credits. a lot to go still. Mm -hmm. Five and twenty. Alright, we're gonna need some alloys, I think. Oh yeah, we are gonna need some alloys. So scrap metals. So, part of me is thinking, let's go ahead and at least get this set up. So we can lay it out. I think the best way for us to do this is if we go ahead. We run a solar panel farm. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll go doot, 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 and doot. Eight solar panels to get us started. That's uh, probably a lot more than we need. So hopefully we can grow into it. And we can maintain whatever devices we eventually get in here. I'd like to try to get this to be somewhat comfortable for us. But since we had the resources for it, let's go ahead and just do it anyway. We're going to be short a little bit of electronic devices. All right, we'll check on that shortly. 
or I'm sorry, we're going to be short on electronics. But as you can see, we can potentially craft them, and it doesn't require a whole lot. We can we can get the silicone from our pointy red plants. We're going to produce a decent amount of it. We've got visitors. Visitors again. Man, they're getting closer and closer. Here they come. Seven this time, okay. A lot of crossbows, more pikes. I think one of the best ways to do this is we're going to get everybody involved this time. Except for good old Hope. Hope's just kind of... Not helpful to us in these situations. But we're doing this for her, so it's okay. Everybody's got a weapon. We've got our survivors. Let's go ahead and start plugging away. You know, wait for that guy that's up close. I really don't want Melody up front since she's a big healer. Okay, let's undraft them, get them squared away. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we salvage those guys. Connor got beat up a little bit that time. Not too bad, though, All right? Just a couple wounds. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to be short. Bandages. Get in there. Start churning them out, Hope. Give me another set. Just for safekeeping, go ahead and knock out one more. Alright, so electronics is short. We're missing some lumber, which is okay. We can cut trees down. Actually, mark these. Get to when we get to them, you know, not a big deal. I think another thing that we could do is if we just go ahead and do, let's just say. Wooden floor. We'll do a two by back here to runs the length. Okay. Go ahead and throw a little staircase in here. And if we just go with a wooden roof over it. actually start doing stockpiles all along this and the reasoning for that is we want to get some of these materials underneath cover right so if we have scrap metal things like that we can put them under cover and I think this is a good spot for that for now and it's only costing us a little bit of wood not too much I can call 300 lumber so that's that's a good use of lumber Oh, crafting level 8. Good. Good, good, good. She does stuff a lot quicker now. Which is perfect. She can really start cranking stuff out for us. So 
So the other plus side to her crafting skill going up is when it comes time to trade, we can actually produce various items on this crafting menu, right? We can we can make a whole bunch of this, a whole bunch of that, a whole bunch of this stuff. We could make a bunch of fuel if we really wanted to. Um, oils, whatever. Anything we make, we can go ahead and stockpile. And we can actually sell with that trading function. And my OCD's kind of kicking in for these. I think we're going to go like this. Yeah, let's deconstruct it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. I think it makes sense if we just go ahead and do it this way. And we can actually implement a door that comes out right here. I like that. And all of these are going to need a power pole. Could go with the metal ones or the wood ones. Um, I think just because we have an abundance of wood, we keep it simple. And we just drop a wooden one right here. So what that's going to do is it's going to pull power. Once these are done, all of these will have a little wire connection now to go to this power pole. It has a radius, right? It can only stretch so far. But since it's connected to the building, when we go ahead and put an electronic device or a battery bank or whatever we decide to use in there it will go ahead and feed into the building so we don't need to run any extra wires which makes it very nice and we're just pre placing stuff in here this is just merely for aesthetic purposes that squared away we can also do so one of the things we didn't do in our little spot down there is we can actually implement flooring right so I'm a big fan of carpets and bedrooms so we're gonna go ahead and just carpet the bedrooms and that will actually remove the cave dweller buff which gives them negative traits when they're indoors. Well, I don't know if it's negative happiness makes them a little a little cranky. But things are looking okay. Things are looking okay. unhappy again so this is what I was talking about earlier with the opinions right so he's okay with Melody he doesn't like Emlyn not really sure what caused him to be unhappy with her but they are not super friendly okay he's burnt out so always do this and do that I must relax yes we know That's part of being stranded on a planet. You gotta, you gotta put the work in early. You can relax later. All right, we did finish our deconstruction, which basically, the easiest way to explain it is there's two tiers of breakdowns on these spaceship parts. Obviously, this one is still on its first tier. This pod we had already depleted it when we first landed. So now we can actually go through and salvage the rest of it. So we'll just mark it for salvage. We'll mark that one sort of for salvage. We could still scavenge that. Scavenge that, scavenge that. So we could still go through a lot of these um, structures, parts, whatever you want to call them still. And I do want to get 
melody to go up here. And I need you to go ahead and knock that out. I know you're probably in the middle of sleeping, but we got to get that done before they deteriorate slash rot away, whatever happens to them. Yeah, we need to get these parts. Very important. More galactic coins. Beautiful. And she's got hypothermia, so let's go ahead, put a new t-shirt on you, put some thermal pants on, put your beanie on, and we'll throw a coat on. Deconstruct the garbage stuff. still doing his work up here, which is good. How are we doing on researching? Nobody's researching right now. Okay, that's all right. It's all right. Curious, what is this meat printing? What does this need? We could turn fuel into meat. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I would do it, but for the sake of gameplay, we're going to make our survivors do it, I think, so they can have a nice menu accessible to them at all times. And the nice thing is, once a lot of this labor-intensive stuff is taken care of, they're going to have some free time, so it might not be a bad idea. And we can generate a refrigerator system. There's a little trick I'm going to show you once we get to that point. Um, that essentially gives us a much larger refrigerator with less components needed. Unless they patched it or fixed it or whatever the case may be, we're gonna we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if it still works. I did it a long time ago when the game first came out, but we'll we'll see. We'll get to that. It's something to look forward to. But as we close out the night here, I just want to wish everybody a uh, great rest of their day. Or if it's late, hope you have a great day tomorrow. Um, appreciate you spending time with us yet again. Uh, if you get a chance, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment. All those options are free to you. It doesn't cost you a penny. And it helps the channel and me out to stay motivated and keep this moving forward. And uh, look forward to coming back and seeing everybody again. So other than that, have a great rest of your day or have a great night. See ya!